Good day everybody, this is Pillar from Tells Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online and this playthrough of a Romulan character on a completely free-to-play account. We've just completed Crossroads at Craterish, the Remans doing the Reman things, and we're moving on to Gasco Blues, so more about Romulan colonists it looks like. I've got nothing to do except check a couple of bits of equipment. So I think I'm going to trade the turret, the rear turret out for another phaser bank. I think that's probably a safe bet. Um, oh, that's an engineering console. Uh, which I am going to equip. And we'll also do the impulse engine. There you go, that was easy. Um, that really is everything, except I might as well... If that's her, right? Right, done. Okay, so we're going to be going into Gasco Blues. There is a space station in the Gasco system that we think will be a fine addition to our group. If they agree to join us, we will have an additional base for our militia ships as well as a supply depot that could make a big difference when we begin construction for Colony. I know there is a group of refugees there. Some of them have been there for years, but they've also had a wave of new residents, including a new commander. I'd like you to go to Gasco and feel out the situation. If you think they'd be a good match for us, you're authorised to extend them an offer. Right? Right? That sounds like something we I can do. To stop them. Getting another new bridge officer there. That looks really cool. Um, Alright, so I'm all the way up here. It's going to take ages in a little Warp 5 ship, so I will definitely meet you there. Here we are approaching the Gasco system. I think I need to find a space station. I've turned the, um, the astrometrics on as well. I think it's pretty cool. Um, oh, it's right around the other side, obviously. Here we go. That's definitely a planet, not a station. But okay. We've entered the Gasco system. According to our intelligence data, the Empire built this station in the late 23rd century, but abandoned it later when the region was no longer strategically important. Word is, some refugees are living in the station now. You know the drill, right? Go to the station, <laughs> reach the good news, get them on our side. Easy. Of course. He's a really good voice actor as well. That's Hovan Kev. So not only is it all voice, which is great, he's also pretty good. Hopefully, everything else will be voiced too. Getting docking codes now. They've opened a channel. Ah, oh, W. Telsa, you are cleared for docking. Ooh, straight over. Awesome. I love anything that breaks up the standard space combat, ground combat, space combat game. Alright, welcome to Gasco Station. Our commander has assigned Tobol to escort you while you're here. Please speak to him when you're ready to leave the transporter room. Alright. Oh, hello. Who is this? The station has been involved in some skirmishing. They might unknowingly have information about enemy ship movements in their archives. So that was obviously a Starfleet bridge officer was meant to be an image of one of these. That's a bug. One of the classics. Hello, Tobol. Good to have you here. We heard about you from people who lived at the Sulaban Helix. The station commander has requested that I escort you to his office. Yeah, all right. I'd like to talk to some colonists on the way, but let's do it. I don't see anything wrong with that. You should know, however, that the colonists here are happy with the way things are. You'll have a hard time trying to convince them of your cause, but you're welcome to try. All right. Um, I'm not really going to try and convince them. Just let them know that there's other options. Is there a woman named Rena Kev on this station? Rena Kev? Hmm. Nope. No one by that name. All right. Thanks very much. Let's go. I guess he's coming with me. Hello, friend. I heard about the Helix, but I also heard about Crateris. Why don't you just leave us alone? <laughs> Have you heard about our Lord and Saviour, Datan? By any chance? Oh, I recognise this layout. I've played in this um, on some other things as well. Can I talk to everybody? I don't like how the Tal Shiar do things, but I can't see myself fighting them either. People on Gasco aren't too eager to fight the Tashia. Well, I guess that's understandable. I'm done fighting. I just want to live a regular life. Yeah, that's possible. Good luck with that. Ooh, are you crazy? The Tashia would wipe us out in an instant if we fought them. Well, not so much. I've managed to do all right. You guys? Anybody? We don't want any trouble. Please just leave us alone. There's going to be a common theme here, isn't there? Sorry that you're not having much luck. People here... Something, something, something. Can't fight the Telshi. Oh, that's crazy talk. Agreed, actually, yeah. Ooh. Uh, where do I want to go? 
Speak to Chief Medical Officer. All right, he's in, in here. Hey guys, might as well get this um, R and D work on the way. Oh, it's a blue. Right, and I'll talk to another colonist on the way around. Don't want the Telshiar to attack here like they did Kraterra. See, I think they obviously think I caused that or me being there was a problem. Fair enough. Look, I'm a doctor. I'm not interested in this war, especially if it means more people in sickbay. But the colonists here aren't eager to fight the Telshiar. Why would they be? You might have better luck talking with the commander of this station, though. He has more backbone than most of the people around here. We'll go through engineering. That's the quickest way to the administration area. All right, very well. And that's over the road, I guess, yeah. Lovely. Hey, guys. Heard the town is trying to recruit anyone he can get for this crazy cause of his. I won't say it's crazy. So I can't talk to anybody down here, but there's a lot of conversations going on anyway. Um, What was that one? That sort of behavior needs to be locked down. He said something about... A VIN or something? All power readers look normal. They're all happy down there. Good. Okay, I'm going in here. We're talking to the commander. Hello. Hey, you have to help me. Alright, that's Lays. You're going down to the administration level, right? I think my brother's being held down there. His name is Hiven. Okay, that's who they were talking about. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He talked back to one of the new guards yesterday. Then he was thrown in the prison. You have to help him, please. So, well, is this true? His brother was making insane accusations and causing trouble. He kept saying that one of the guards was the, with the Tel Shiar. That guard's entire family was killed by the Tel Shiar lieutenant. He didn't appreciate it, and a fight broke out. Both the guard and, his men's, and this man's brother are in the brig. If you'd like, we can visit them after you're done talking to the commander. Alright, that seems reasonable. Yeah, fair enough. Mr. Commander, where are you? I guess that's the brig down there, maybe? Hello. These are very Romulan statues, aren't they? Wow. Nice. Welcome, Lieutenant Talith. Taleth. It's good to meet you. I've heard much about Datan's fleet and their fight against the Taoshiar. I know you're here to offer us a chance to help, but perhaps there is a counter offer you'd be willing to hear. What? Oh. So good to see you again, <laughs> my friend. It's time for us to talk. Right. I should have seen this coming. Surprised? You've been one step ahead of the Tal Shiar, but now your time has run out. Gasco Station belongs to us. Soon the Helix will be ours as well. Your little rebellion is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the station. You and your friends are going to be here for a very long time. Well, we'll see about that, Hakeev. Don't resist, Lieutenant. Make this easier on all of us. You and your crew will spend some time in our brig, but if you do as you're told, you could be released. Maybe even work with the Tao Shiar. There's no reason for there to be any more violence today. Tao Shiar just want to help us. If you choose to defy us, I will be forced to order my men to fire. Ah. Um. Okay, so I might as well try and appeal. Obviously... I'd say 90% chance it's not going to work, but let's give it a go. As much as I would like to believe you, what hope does Tatan have? You and your group have no government, no real laws, no place to live. The Tao Shiar can give me and my people all of that and more. I'll ask you one last time. Stand down. Nope. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I don't want to kill Tobol. Aw. I will, obviously. Alright, my little dash out of the way didn't work there. And then get out of here. <laughs> Please don't care, but this was the guy that was um, meant to be, made to have a better spine, was it? Toval said. So, I, I don't really see any harm in beating him up a little bit. Any loot? What? Alright, fine. He deserved that though, right? Alright, let's get to the prisoners. Oh, we might as well save this guy's brother then. I assume that was all a lie? Must have been. Why does the dodge not work? The really delayed reaction. 
Alright, Iconian stuff. Won't miss it this time. There are multiple references to the Iconians in these Tal Shah files. Akiv, in particular, seems to have a great interest in them. There are also references to Taris, who was Praetor before Sila came to power. Hmm. Taris has been missing since the overthrow, but she is not in some Tal Shah prison. They are still looking for her. Yeah, see, we know that from the, the Romulan storyline. Played for or played by all the other factions. And this one eventually, obviously. Yeah, that's good point. Good point. All right, we're releasing people. Can I can I talk to you? I'm ready. Well, you look a lot like the other guy. That's good. You're with the Tans Group? I heard about you. My name is Hiven. I'm the only one left who will stand up for what's right. And look where it got me. The Tal Shiar took over the station a few days ago. I think it was right after you guys helped those people in the old Sudlaban Helix. A few of us resisted and got thrown in the prison. I'm the only one left alive. Oh. You have to get me and my brother out of here. All right. Yeah, let's We've do it. We've got a problem. Someone in the station activated a magnetic shield. It's blocking all of our attempts to use the ship's transporters. We had civilians who were trying to get to the ship, but now they're stuck too. We need to get to that transporter room, shut down the shield, and save any civilians that need our help. All right, let's do it. If you want some more firepower, we can grab some equipment that tells you how we're using. Ooh, hello. Anything good? Wait, what'd I get? Uh, well, I guess I could use that, yeah. Fine. But that's not tricorder scan, no. That is a separate thing. Let's let's get it out. Medical tricorder. I can now heal somebody. That was already out. Jeez. I'm a bit slow tonight. Okay. There's nothing else to do in here. Let's just go. Let's see how good Hiven is in a fight. <laughs> and then his brother should be right up here. Oh, brother! Oh God! I won't let them get away with this. Never trust Star Trek Online introducing family members. I've never known somebody to be a brother or a sister or a father or a mother, anything like that, and make it through the episode. Just doesn't work. Uh, should I be? Should I be killing all these? I guess I don't have to. Just need to make it up, right? Where'd you guys all come from? At least I don't have to think too much about these fights. Seem to be a few more enemies than normal, but not exactly difficult still. And this should be it, right? Ooh. I don't want to die. Classic. I think that's exactly what I'd shout. In any sort of life-threatening situation, I think I'd be the one stood at the back of the group shouting, I don't want to die. I mean, that's just realistic, right? There we go. Yeah, cheer for me. Awesome. All right, hell ship to prepare for mass transport. 
Who's ready to transport all of the nearby colonists? Do it. Takes a while. We've got to lock onto all the signatures. We need to get everyone back to the ship. There are enemy vessels inbound, and the ship is trapped in a tractor beam. Rescuing these colonists won't mean a thing if our ship is blown to pieces. All right. Let's do it. I couldn't get out of the last tractor beam I was in, so hopefully I'll do better this time. So you've escaped. How interesting. You really do intend to take this as far as you can, don't you? No matter. You cannot run from the rest of the Tal Shiar forces in the Gasco system. My only regret is that I won't be there to deal with you myself. You're next after this, apparently. I'm getting a bit ballsy. Makes me wonder why my ship didn't just do this earlier. If it's that easy to break out of. Oh, hello. Right, I think this is a much better setup for the ship. If I can get the jewel beams at the front again, I think that might be fun. And then switch back to a turret at the back, but just because of the special rewards I've got, the only option I've really got is a broadside phaser build. Or broadside beam build, sorry. I stay behind him again. This isn't working too well. I might as well just do this while I'm on the good side. There we go. Nice. And I thought the rumors you defeat in the Taoshi were just that. I've never been so happy to be wrong. Right, now what? There are more? There are more. Hey guys. They're quite close to each other. It'd be interesting to see if hitting one affects the other. Um, it did. It did, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> that was a really quick backtrack. Now, there's a normal plasma torpedo debuff. I think there was a high yield debuff as well. It looked like there was. Okay, and where are the others coming from? The Tan's Rebellion is doomed. Ooh, hello. Please don't hurt me. Do you think you can actually win? Is he talking to me? Because no. <laughs> no, basically I don't. I guess the idea is to get into this fight and then someone else beams in halfway through. Something like that. Please don't spot me. Please don't spot me. Ooh. He's used a fairly, fairly big buff there. So I need to not engage until that's gone. Which is fine. I wonder if he'll just get it straight back again afterwards. Could be. Why didn't it say the cooldown on the tooltip, by the way? A fairly pivotal part of any skill. Right, so I can go now. I can't fire it to the rear. Oh, there you go. He just straight away gets it back. Interesting. Only can fire it to the rear, apparently. Who'd have thought? I might as well evasive maneuvers to try and get back around behind him, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. No, he's too far away, basically. He's never going to be able to, to get behind him from that point. Oh, nice. With the current timing on my torpedo, if I fire it straight away when the cooldown's up and he does the same, then mine should destroy his every time. 
which would be incredible. There we go. That was quite cool. That was a good little fight. Beat a big battleship with my tiny little fighter. Frigate. Corvette. Destroyer. That'll thing. show those Tashiar what happens when they cross us. If I see that Harkiv again, I'll make sure he loses more than an eye. Yeah, you tell him. I can't thank you enough for the help back there. I don't have much left now that LaHaze is gone. LaHaze? Really? I'm good with a weapon, and I know my way around a ship. I'd be honored to stay aboard and help you fight the Tal Shiar. What's next? <laughs> Let's miss out that. It's fine. Let's leave. Oh, yeah, that was quite cool. I like that. And that is the end of the episode, so we can hand that in. The Tal Shiar is advancing on our allies. Well, we had to expect this eventually. The Tal Shiar are actively moving to stop us from gaining more followers. And even Hakiv is involved. The bad news is that we lost Gasco Station. The good news is that the Tal Shiar is taking our movement seriously. That means we're gaining momentum. I'm going to talk to Datan. I think it's time to take a real steps toward freedom. <gasps> what does that mean? Congratulations, Lieutenant. I don't know what it means, but I'm excited. All right, so more skills. Um, I think I'm just going to go carry on the way I've been going, get all the science. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep going that way. Um, vector space travel speed or transwarp, transwarp cooldown reductions. I never hit the transwarp cooldown problems, so let's increase space travel, which is great because warp 5 is awful. Um, okay. That's the only skill to do. I'm very near getting a new ship already, which is incredible. That'll be in the next episode, probably. Um, so that was um, Gasco Blues, which was really cool. I like that. Storyline-wise, that was really interesting. Like Walking around the station, not knowing that it was already under control of the others. Um, none of the civilians knew, though, I guess. So questioning them in different ways wouldn't have helped. That might be an interesting thing to put in there. Um, but yeah, really cool. Interesting. Um, and it showed uh, that it's not just the Tao Shiar we have to worry about now. It's um, the Tao Shiar affecting all the others around us as well. So pretty cool. I like it. So the next episode is the search for new Romulus. So I guess we're going to try and get a new homeworld, which is great. We're about halfway through. In fact, we're exactly halfway through um, from the ashes now. So I'm really looking forward to getting this all finished off. The last little group of episodes look really good. We get to do a task force operation, which is a new sort of thing in the storylines now. They've put these into some of the storylines, which is really cool. A great idea, I think. I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, but yeah, the search for new Romulus in the next episode. That one was Gasco Blues. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you are enjoying. Hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing. Look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online.